Hi, this is Firestarter and this is a review of the Play Art Kai uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty Riding. So here is the packaging, um, somewhat similar to uh, Solid Snake. So uh, we have the name here, Play Art Kai Metal Gear Solid 2, and another um, pose or photo or image of Raiden. And there's a window right here, and warning labels on top. Um, the logo again here. And then at the back, cool poses for writing. Now let's open the box so we can check out the contents inside, and uh, we can do a not your usual size comparison. It is a smart decision from Square Enix to finally release the MGS2 Raiden since the Revengeance version was widely accepted by toy collectors and Metal Gear fans. Unlike Revengeance, this is a mellowed down version of the hero with the head sculpt features like clouds. On his right leg is a holster to place the gun in. What this comes with is a play art sky stage, three extra hands, a katana with a sheath, a pistol, and replacement head mask. For the sheath to safely sling on the figure's body, it is advisable to remove the head first. Then you can even use the replacement mask if needed. Well, size comparison between um, Raiden and uh, sort of an MP10 Year of the Snake, Optimus Prime. So he is much taller than Optimus. So let's put uh, him aside and let's go through the articulation points of this figure. Uh, he doesn't have an, a neck joint but he has a head joint right here. The arms rotate um, and then the shoulders go in and out. And then we have a single jointed elbow, a wrist joint right here. And I think uh, you can swivel the elbow from left to right. And then upper torso, we have a waist articulation also. And then leg movement right here. And uh, at first, you might not be able to spread the legs evenly. But um, once you do, and once you get the hang of it, um, you can do this in a 90-degree angle. Double-jointed knees right here and a ankle joint and there is a cut right here for the feet so cool um the only thing i have some gripe about the figure is the neck joint um he really does look hunched and looks like somewhat a revolting feel but um i'm i'm not really digging the neck right here because uh the shoulders are too low and you can feel that uh, there is some unevenness to the figure. So those are the only gripes. But if once you move the head and tilt it in a uh, certain way, it, it, it doesn't really bother at all. Um, he has a really nice face sculpt. If you have a chance to get right in and if you are a Metal Gear uh, Solid fan, this is a good figure but um, just be aware of the neck right here being too long and the shoulders being to uh, down there. So that's all you need to know about Raiden. Raiden's Revengeance cyborg body was great, but toning it down to MGS2 level exposes the figure's flaws, such as the neck being too long. Equally making it somewhat worse is the low shoulder frame. Even with that has been said, the figure has a handsome face sculpt and a very well-balanced pair of legs, enabling the figure to stand on one leg. And that is my review of the Play Arts Kai Raiden from MGS2. If you want to know the possibilities for this figure, always check out the photos at the end of the video and subscribe to my blog for the full written review. This is Far Starter. Thank you very much for watching and keep it here for more toy reviews.